What's poppin' people? It's your boy Mikey JTV and the mother of place to be. And today we've got another Genshin Impact video for you. Uh, before we start, I want to ask you guys, how are you guys liking the videos? And if you are liking the videos, go ahead and drop a like on the video, comment. And uh, if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. Bro. It's free. You don't lose anything. You just don't. And um, I'm trying to at least upload one video a day on Genshin Impact. Um, this game has taken the gaming community by storm. And honestly, it's just a great game for for people who not only love gotcha, but like love that Breath of the Wild style gameplay and all that good stuff. So come on, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, because I feel like if Genshin Impact ain't going nowhere, neither am I. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the video. Today, we're talking about ranking up faster every day, what you can do to get that adventure rank up as fast as possible. So. Um, I think these two things go without saying um, this is kind of like a weekly thing. So if it's Monday morning and you, you know, you don't have anything to do, go ahead and knock out Duvall and Andreas. If you're level, uh, you're, you're ranked 25 or above. Now you can start doing um, Andreas. I do believe at level 21, I believe, or level 23. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go check up on that. But when those bosses are available, go ahead and knock them out right away at the beginning of the week. So you don't have to worry about them, um, you know, during the weekly reset. Um, but now that that's out of the way, let's let's talk about the things that you can do every single day. All right. So this video is really just wrapped around the theme of exploration. You want to always be exploring. And while you're exploring, you want to do these things. So looting chests, of course, if you see a chest, go ahead and go ahead and get it. Um, fight the bosses that pop up around or if it's a free chest, go ahead and do it. You don't lose anything. You get uh, Prima gems and you get a lot of stuff, uh, materials to level up your your characters, your artifacts, all that kind of stuff. There, it's, it's just a win-win. So go and get those loot chests. Um, there's no need to hoard them for some type of late, late gameplay type strategy. It's not worth it. Um, your daily contracts, when those pop up, go ahead and knock those out. Those reset every day at, uh, at game reset. Um, just knock those out, get them out of the way. They give you a lot of XP. I think it's 400 XP. So that's 400 out of the way. Boom, boom, bow. Uh, on to the next rank, your resin. So clearing out your resin and fighting the, you know, the map bosses go hand in hand. The map bosses, they don't have a weekly respawn. They have an hourly respawn. Um, I'm not sure how, how long the cooldown is, but you can definitely get maybe two or three fights in a day if you're lucky. And over time, over the over the course of the day, your resin will uh, accumulate again. If you really just want to, you can use Prima Gems or you can use the uh, the currency. I'm not sure, the, but the little moon things <laughs> to, to restore your resin. So, yes, you want to be fighting bosses. And like I say, all of this is wrapped around in exploration. So while you're exploring, you just want to happen to, you know, see that there's a boss in the area. Exploration when, when you're when you're exploring. Uh, you definitely want to keep a lookout for those uh, Animoculus and the Geoculus um, so you can you can get your seven rank up because uh, that's very important because that gives you a lot of stamina. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been climbing a mountain and I lose my I lose my stamina and I'm sitting on maybe 20 of those Geoculus and I could have turned them in and, and got the stamina that I needed but instead I died. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, also while you're exploring, you want to be on the lookout for the NPC quests. Um, these I don't I don't believe that they show up on your map. Uh, I, I do believe that like while you're in an area and an NPC quest shows up, um, it'll just you know, it'll show up on your map then while you're in the area. But make sure you complete those. Next would be your adventure handbook. Um, there's a lot of, uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of things to do in this adventure handbook that you definitely should not overlook. And nine times out of 10, like I said before, while you're exploring, you're going to start doing these things organically, but you want to be mindful of what you're doing so that you're multitasking in this game. So when you complete your, your chapters for your handbook, you're going to want to be doing um, a lot of different things to get a lot of XP. So keep that in mind. And last but not least, do your dungeons like 
it, it is last for a reason because those do cost resin um i definitely would say do your boss fights first um clear your contracts and if there is any other if there's any anything else anything else um that i might have missed put that in between you know doing your dungeons you probably want to do your dungeons last and what dungeons do is it's a it it changes the drops on every every day for specific characters so i mean you just want to do those every day anyway just to get that adventure rank up so while this is all accumulating it accumulates in adventure rank experience so you're essentially just playing the game but you have to this video serves as, as a purpose to be mindful of what you're doing um in the epic 7 community people uh, when we are gearing up your uh, or leveling up new characters you always don't want to just hone in on leveling a character you always want to do something else you want to level a character you want to grind for uh, materials you want to do all that all in one thing so don't just do one thing while you're exploring do multiple things so when multiple things happen you get that much experience so yeah so i think that about wraps it up if you have any more suggestions i should do go ahead and uh, put those down in the comment sections below if you have any questions that you want me to answer i'll be more than happy to answer them down in the comment section below as well uh, if you like the video go ahead drop a like and uh comment and subscribe if you have not already but uh yeah thank you guys for watching it's been your boy mikey jtv and the mother i've been placed to be as always guys peace